Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to make a water xylophone so that you can use it to play music just like you would on the musical instrument, the xy xylophone. All you need is to gather together some simple items that you probably have around your house. You'll need several glass jars or drinking glasses the same size and shape. I'm going to be using pint size mason jars. You need some water, just regular tap water is fine. A measuring cup, some food coloring, and something to tap the jar. This is a knitting needle, or you could use a wooden dowel. You could use a chopstick or a spoon handle whatever you happen to have handy. <clears throat> and the way that this works is that when you tap the jar, it makes sound waves travel through the water. And the amount of water that you have in the jar determines the pitch of the sound. The more water that you have in the jar, the lower the pitch will be because the sound wave has to travel farther. So, the less water that you have in the jar, the higher the pitch because the sound wave doesn't have as far to travel. The food coloring doesn't do anything to the sound. It just makes it easier for you to see the level of the water in the jars and it's fun. So in this jar, I have poured one and three fourths cups of water. In the next one, there's one and a half cups. The next one is one and one fourth cups, and then one cup, three fourths of a cup, one half cup, and in this last one, we're going to pour one quarter of a cup of water, and we'll put in just a little bit of food coloring. so that you can see the water level. And we'll give it a little shake to mix the color. And now, when I tap on the jars, you should be able to tell the difference in the pitch. Can you tell the difference? So now, you can use your water xylophone to play a song. So you can't see from where you are in the watching the video, but I have a little post-it note with letter a letter on it in front of each of these jars so that I can use that to follow along, to follow the music on this sheet of paper to play a song. So see if you can guess what it is I'm playing. Can you tell? I'll try to go a little faster and smoother this time. Can you tell? It's twinkle, twinkle, little star. So that's how you make a water xylophone. So all you have to do is gather together some jars, get some water from the tap, a little food coloring, find something to tap the jar with, and you can make your own water xylophone at home. And then you can start making music. Maybe you'll even make up a new song, but I hope you have fun.